Now, when you start to cut a scene, you shouldn't just start throwing footage down on the timeline. It's important to come up with a strategy and a style and a design. Let's step into 03-01 strategy and take a look at the first few shots that could be in our scene. Now, the way the scene starts. So, how's the coffee? It's cold. Did you finish it? Now, that's a traditional way that a scene could start. There's a wide kind of establishing shot as Mr. Dalton enters the room. He speaks, and then we see a reaction shot and a response from Joseph, and then we see a close-up reaction shot and a comment from Mr. Dalton. And we could go back and forth just trying to keep a variety of shots just to keep our viewer interested. But that's not necessarily the best way to cut the scene. And it's important to look at all your footage and make a decision on the look and the feel before you lay down even your first clip. So let's go ahead and switch from the list view to the film strip view and shrink everything down to its smallest size so you can see it on my monitor. This way I can quickly look at the variety of shots that I have and make some decisions. So we have our establishing shot according to the script where we start seeing some of the designs and I'm going to skip that for now. That's not one of my favorite shots. We also have a close-up of Joseph, and it pans down to the table and the papers. Again, looking at his designs. We have this interesting wide shot of Mr. Dalton on the left and Joseph on the right. A very wide shot, and I really like this because, to me, it starts saying the relationship that's going on here. Again, I have a nice over-the-shoulder shot here and I see papers, and what I also see compared to the first shot is that there's something separating them. And in this case, it's the table and the designs. I have the close-up, but I want to keep distance. I want not just distance between my characters, I want physical distance between my characters and my audience. So this is an okay shot, but I like the effect created by the over-the-shoulder shot. And for the reverse angle, I like this also. Because again, I see the table as a block, and he just kind of comes in and steps out and comes in and dominates the scene. So the three shots I like to work with are all the real extreme wide shots with things in between. And as you see, we have an alternative take of this, and then we have a close-up of Joseph and his reactions. And again, I think I'm going to try to avoid this because I want some distance. I want all my shots to have something blocking the characters, and I don't want to get so close that I can read their emotions right in their eyes. I want to be able to feel it from the distance and the emptiness. So with that in mind, I'm going to start cutting. And as we go through this chapter, we'll see if we need to adapt that initial vision or if we can make it work.